Hi all and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to talk about my adventures with the camera control. Now, the camera is fairly simple. Um, I'll just explain to it now. It's pretty much exactly what I had going in Ali, just recreated in uh, a central engine. Now, I'm using the arrow keys to pan left, right, up and down in this sort of top-down view. Um, and I can zoom in and out with the middle mouse button. And if I click the middle mouse button, I can rotate around the focal point of the camera. So it's pretty simple, yet effective. Now, just another note before I go on, the character moves around with the right mouse click. Uh, this is important to this uh, topic, and I'll explain in a bit, but it might not seem obvious right now. So he moves around like that, um, by right clicking. Now, this is all very simple, well and good on the PC, but what about when it comes to the Android tablet or the iOS tablet, whatever? Um, you know, you don't have a right mouse click, you don't have arrow keys, so how do you control the camera with, um, well, basically one type of input, the touchscreen? Well, you'd assume that I would move the character with a single touch, right? So that's the single touch occupied. Now my only option for camera movement now is, well, either I press a button that says camera movement or there's some, like, joysticks for the camera movement. Um, well, I think that's personally really horrible. Um, I think it would be better if it was more intuitive and more automatic. So I came up with the idea of using a double touch. So a double touch will always be controlling the camera. You can move the double touch, you can pinch the double touch to zoom, you can um, rotate the double touch to rotate the camera. And I'm going to show you what this looks like uh, in a bit on the Android tablet itself. Now, one thing um, to keep in mind now is that well, what happens if I go for a double touch, my intent is to touch um, is to move the camera but instead what happens is my character moves there first because I touched one finger a split second before the other and that's a problem that I've had to deal with in my um, touch handler um, class that I've made to, to handle this for the Android um, and the other issue is uh, when you're touching the screen, even if you think you're keeping your fingers still, there's always a tiny, tiny movement registered. And this would cause the camera to be a little bit jittery. It would move a little bit that way, move a little bit back, um, just really slight movements, enough to be annoying. So I had to come up with a solution to that. And so now without further ado, I'll show you on the tablet how I did it. Alright, so I'm just going to open it up in um, on the Android now. Sorry about the glare, it's a bit bright here. Alright, so, oh, that glare's horrible. So, here we have the scene. Um, you can see if I touch um, character will go to the place on the scene. Now, if I two finger touch, notice how the character didn't move. And now if I slide left and right, I can pan the, um, scene around. Um, if I want to zoom in, I'll just simply pinch. See that I, um, the guy moves. Pinch out to zoom out, rotate. So yeah, that's how it works. So what I did to um, stop it from stop the character from going there is I made in my um, handler class a sort of timer. It takes like 0.1 of a second for it to register a touch. Otherwise, it doesn't register it. And instead of um, the touch movement for the character being part of the um, um, a basic touch, instead it consults with the touch handler and it listens to what the touch handler says. So if the touch handler doesn't say a touch has been registered, it doesn't do it. 
you can see if I'm a bit slow, I'll, he'll still um, move to the spot. So if I touch too slowly with the other one, he still moves there. Now another thing um, I had to do is the, the camera could be really jittery because um, even when your fingers are still, there is a slight movement registered with the touches, um, which I guess is just, you know, the technology itself. Now, I wanted that to not stuff up the camera too much. And um, therefore, what I did was if there was a change in uh, touch movement, that was less than a certain amount, it just wouldn't register on the touch handler. So basically there's three functionalities of this touch handler. There's the average position of a double touch. Um, in fact, there's an average position for any amount of touches, but of course I haven't made it do anything with more than two. Um, there's a distance between the touches and it calculates the change in distance every frame and it uses that to do the zoom and it calculates the angle between the touches and it uses the change in angle each frame to uh, move the camera, or I've made it to. Um, so that's pretty much all the functionality I can think of from getting with two fingers, uh, except for things like double touches. Um, you can see it's a bit wobbly still, but it's good enough for now. I don't think uh, it'll ever be as good as a PC um, controls just the fact that it's touch. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching.